Hi Capricorn, this is Jess with your weekly reading for June 13th to the 19th. I hope you guys are having a really uh, good start of your June. So let's get into your reading. Um, Now Capricorns, I see that some of you definitely, um, there is a ending to hard times. So I'm glad to see that for a lot of you. Um, I feel that there is a new beginning, okay? Um, I feel like some of you have walked away from situations that no longer serve you. Uh, you could have walked away from a water sign or a water sign could have walked away from you. If you have water in your chart, then it was it could have been you that walked away from um, from someone in search of, of, of something better. Or um, if it's not a love relationship, then you just walked away from situations that no longer served you. Or that you have accomplished whatever you needed to. You have done all that you could there. And now you are moving on to bigger and better pastures. I feel that um, there's new beginnings that's starting or have started for a lot of you. So congratulations. And out of those new beginnings, I see that there is prosperity. So there are money gains that are coming your way. A lot of you guys are really thinking of opportunities to manifest more money, more gains for you. Some of you are getting more money uh, from others as a result of this new opportunity. Others of you are having to pay some monies out. Uh, That can be a bit burdensome on you. I feel that for those of you that's getting monies and getting prosperity and gains coming in because of a new opportunity, a new job, a new creative endeavor, a new business that you've started for yourself, I feel that you are lighting the candles at both ends and you're taking on a lot of responsibility. But I feel that through this, you are gaining so much victory and mental clarity. I feel that for some of you, you're getting out of that dark space. It, it's still there. It's, I mean, it's residual energy. Um, it's not nothing that is going to, I feel, even be evident possibly by next week. But there is still that moving away of that energy of the betrayal, the deceit, the the, the self-doubt, the negative talk, the negative self-talk that some of you have been doing that hasn't been dealing with betrayals and deceits by others. Um, I feel that underneath it all, you are definitely gaining every day. You're gaining a new sense of clarity and that's instilling a new level of confidence within yourself. Okay. Um, I feel that with these new ideas that's coming your way, a lot of you guys are really coming up with really great ideas to manifest money, to get more, um, to, to start some type of new creative endeavor, to start something new, even if it is on a level of just seeking out in employment for yourself. I feel that some of you are coming out with very new and innovative ways in how to put yourself out there and how to be more attractive. Um, I feel like some of you have moved away from this old way of doing things, the tried and true way of doing things, and you're stepping out in a totally new way way i do not have the hangman at all but my cards around me is definitely communicating that there is this new way of thinking of feeling of understanding of being that is now presenting itself and with that will come a new found blessing that will come your way so now with my capricorns out there i want to tell you that i want you to be very clear about the messages that come to you uh things that you think of things that happen in succession. So messages that you hear in succession, things that kind of come out of nowhere that never happens before, pay attention to those things, okay? Uh, Because there are messages that are coming to you now that are divinely guiding you to the next part and phase of your life, okay? So there's divine messages that are coming your way that I feel that will help you gain even more abundance, clarity, and help push you into a new phase of your life Um, and help you manifest uh, the things that you want as well. Um, As far as it relates to love, guys, I see that for more, a lot of you, or some of you rather, there's been a cutting off, uh, really letting go of those people that were not serving your better good and that um, you really felt that, I feel for some of you, there could have been with an air sign. So with air signs, you could have feel some sense of lies and betrayals and deceit with air signs. Some of you... um, could truly find a 
fire signs. So fire signs, some of you are dealing with them. You could find them to be a bit burdensome or they work all the time. So, you know, you don't even get a chance to really get to know this person because they're constantly working um, and um, they're putting work before everything. I feel like um, with water signs, again, there's that walking away. So someone's walking away in pursuit of something better because they're just not being satisfied with a water sign. And I feel like when it comes to earth signs, so if those of you are dealing with signs that are just like your same, same element, I feel that things can grow with you in another earth sign. So things can start off with really like this, hmm, wouldn't this be nice to actually this um, you, you, you're feeling this way and now this person has conveyed to you that they feel the exact same way and that, that there's this good balance and this good equilibrium going on between you and another air sign. I'm sorry, another earth sign. Um, and this person, there could possibly be, um, a very divine connection with this person. So you could have met them in a very strange and unusual sort of way. Um, it could have been a way that was unlikely, the most unlikeliest of, of parents or connections um, are coming about or could have come about with you and your significant other and it's actually growing in a very significant way so that is what i see for you guys for this week yes quick fast simple and sweet um, i think you guys have just about the fastest reading that i've seen uh i should have been given everyone these readings but um uh, some other signs are a little bit more complicated you guys uh, reading is pretty straightforward and you know, business as usual, just working hard, doing what you need to do and really starting to manifest things for yourself and, you know, not tolerating the BS. Basically, that's what I see. So uh, you guys have a great week. I want you to, of course, thumbs up, comment below. You can also reach me at my email address if you'd like and subscribe because I will be back next week with a reading. Take care.